Hi, I'm honored and grateful to be able to share this message with you. The exercise that you have tonight is a wonderful exercise. I actually spent some time today doing it myself, and I felt myself challenged and inspired by thinking about these 22 values and how to prioritize them. And I wish that I could be with you to discuss it. But I want to make a practical suggestion. When you finish, whatever your list is, I want to suggest that each one of you chooses one item and actually begin to practice it. You don't need to talk about it. You don't even need to announce it. Just do it. Let me explain why. During this time in the calendar between Pesach and Shavuot, many Jews have the custom to study a remarkable work called Pirkei Avot, the Lessons of the Parents. It is a work of rabbinic wisdom about values and ethics. If you are looking for something in classical Jewish literature to study that is accessible and will add value to your life, it's a great starting place. The name, Lessons of the Parents, is kind of strange because usually we think about teachers giving lessons. Rabbi Yosef Soloveitchik explains the reason for the title is that these lessons in basic values and ethics are lessons that we learn not so much by the words that teachers teach us, but more by what we see being acted in our homes, in the lives of our parents. And there's a characteristic phrase in this work, Hu Haya Omer. We usually translate that to mean, he used to say, for example, famous line near the beginning, Hu Haya Omer, he used to say, Al Shlosha Devarim HaOlam Omed, on these three principles the world rests, on the study of Torah, on prayer, and on acts of kindness. But the phrase Hu Haya Omer is understood to mean something much more deep, and that is, he was in the habit of expressing repeatedly. In other words, the lessons that are being taught are not simply the words that were said in a lecture. They are rather the cumulative message that this teacher gave from his life, from his actions, from his behavior. Simply doing something and incorporating it into our lives will make a much bigger impact than anything that we directly say to our children. Remember the saying, children may often ignore what their parents say, but they will never miss what their parents do. By taking one of these items and incorporating it into your life, you will be teaching your children more powerfully than any other way that this is central and that this is the way to prepare for the future. I must tell you that I'm envious of you having children at home. All of our children have already left home. I wish I would give anything to have the opportunity to be able to raise our children again. What I regret most is not having realized younger in my life the tremendous impact that my actions have on my children, regardless of what I say. That's what I would be careful about if I had the chance to do it over again, and that's the chance that you have through this exercise and through the amazing activity of your children you will help create the bright future of the Jewish people. Thank you very much.